<laughs> that was rough. Nothing like a struggle at the last minute to make you know that you're still here. <laughs> and that life is not easy. <laughs> Holy crap. That was rough. So hang on a second. I get settled down, folks. It'll take a moment. Good night, everybody. I'll just say good night to everybody as I'm warming up. Broken ass on there. Mr. I can see. Fix it, stupid. Missing Sky, Pia Jensen, Bob, Johnstown, Lunar, Legion, Up Gardner, Missing Sky, good night folks, Kate, Mr. I Can See, Wannabe, Fix It Stupid, how come I'm not streaming over there yet, let's go, go, oh, get me, not finished with me yet, 57 seconds, I should show up. Ah, there I be. Hang on, folks. Hang on. I got the microphone up, too, oh, so... That was rough. So, hang on a second. Now, that sounds okay. That's not too bad. That's doable. I don't sound squeaky like I normally do. Don't matter anyway. Japan changed the Constitution to join the global drone arms race. Are they going to screw that up too? Are they going to destroy that injury industry? Maybe they, Japan will do something cool for the whole planet for a change and destroy the drone industry. <laughs> if you're going to, if you really want to screw something up, you get Japan in on it. They'll frig it up. I guarantee you it won't be worth a nickel when they're finished with it. Long live Japan. <laughs> to the destroyer of the nuclear industry. Come on, you can take down the drone industry while you're at it. Don't be a wimp. Don't be a little wimp. We know you're cold-blooded. You took all the money from the children and gave it to the Nissan. <coughs> Excuse me. I'm just rambling at this stage. Mississippi cut $1.3 billion from schools. So they can give $1.3 billion to Nissan. Right? You know I'm right. I'm always right. Hi, Zeke Freak. And did I screw up everything here? Hang on, folks. I'm sorry, I was like a minute late tonight, was I? That's the first time. It's disappointing, I know. I know, man. Send your hate mail to Dana Durnford at hotmail.com. <laughs> I'm tormenting you folks. You guys are way too good to me. Trust me, you guys are way too cool. And once again, uh, thanks for the donations at thenuclearproctologist.org but it's okay in a few days I'll come out and explain to it and then I'm going to have a money bomb following that uh, shortly after so everybody understands what we're up to and can agree upon what's a really good idea and I think we got the, the perfect scenario worked out to get something actually going on here besides the nuclearproctologist.org which I think is really going to it's what a day. So let me keep going here because I want this one to be a quick run through. But I just want you to understand. I am keep looking up at the microphone. I want you to understand that, uh, you know, if you really want to take somebody's narrative apart, the nuclearproctologist.org, pick your subject and you can go in and you can pound the guts out of anybody out there in a debate. They're done. If you're doing a TV interview or a radio interview or you're writing an article, you come over to the nuclearproctologist.org and you can annihilate, you can make everybody out there who's writing about it look pretty pathetic with your own little twist and we'll all pat you on the back if you tell us you're out there somewhere. Forensic scientists identify suspicious back door running on every I O S ha <laughs> ha the elite got shoved up their butts how's it feel when it's on the other cheek hey eh? you gave all your children these toys so that they couldn't be snooped upon and there was a back door put in for you now I'm not saying Windows is some kind of angel I never said that I just said they get it too Windows actually got a Xerox foil and years ago, I went in and I tried to corrupt them. What it does is it leaves a watermark on everything you do. 
And so if you print anything out or you make a CD or you create a video or you uh, leave a message somewhere, forensically, there's a watermark there. Now that watermark, that Xerox file was put there. I'm digressing, I know, but that Xerox file was put there uh, for counterfeiting money, right? And so it was a backdoor, thanks to Bill Gates. And on that note there, Bill Gates, of course, he vaccinated uh, India uh, over a billion people <clears throat> to stop 600 people a year from getting polio. To stop 600 people a year from getting polio. And there's 27,000 children dying a day. Just hang on a second, folks. I've got to get a drink of water before I die here. I think I lost my throat that time. My voice, that was rough. <clears throat> Do re mi fa so la, la. Yeah, she's still just as rough as it was a few minutes ago. It just doesn't tickle. <clears throat> and so the Xerox foil, you see if I can pick up where I left off after I was choking. The Xerox file, I went in, and just to finish off that conversation, I went in and I tried to change ones and zeros to try to corrupt it. And uh, it wouldn't let me do that. And I ended up having to reformat my computer. <coughs> and then um, I came and I came after it another couple of ways. And I really screwed up my computer. And I ended up formatting my computer again. It didn't like me playing with it. So let's get on with the show. Uh -huh. dun, dun, dun. Just a quick note, that's unit one, it's 100% meltdown, and most of the plumes you've seen in models about Fukushima is based upon that one uh, building and just a couple of days releases. And so it's not very honest. And here's the rest of the story coming up. It's gonna be pretty rough, uh, it's pretty hard. Hey, hey, it's sucking me in, it's sucking me in, oh, I can't stop. Whew. That was close. I almost got taken out by a big old chummy sucking out my brain. <laughs> I was supposed to click off of that picture. What do I know? Here we go. Did I turn it on? Everything clicking along. Make sure the audio is good. I fix it, stupid. Make sure everything is working. Mom's the word. I got to get you an address. Solar mechanic. Shanikins. What the hell was that? Anyway. L Lunar Legion, fix it stupid, MSVS, Lunar again, did I miss anybody? Oh, I got my thing hovering on it, so nothing shows up. Hi, Sylvia. Mr. I can see Alex Smith. <coughs> Hi, Laurie. Make sure I get everybody in HD. And we got you. And go. Here we go. Just make sure everything was working. Yeah, it was supposed to be funny, but it didn't quite come out the way I was hoping. That that's okay. The rest of it ain't so funny. Uh, maybe you never know. Uh, Outrage. The federal training manual refers to sicken nuclear workers as Freddy Krueger. Yeah. And September 27, 2011, so the demonization machine was well oiled up. We'll just make sure we keep oil on everything for everybody. 10 million people in Japan have been abandoned. And hang on a second. In high radiation areas, there's actually most of that country, around 400,000 square miles, is all radiated, every bit of it. March 13, 2013, and that didn't work out the way it was supposed to be. Here we go again with another one. 
I'll get my roll on the ones here. Former special advisor says Japan, ABC Australia. Too scared to tell people the truth about the Fukushima future. And understandably so, because radiation is invisible. And the science is blind. Everything is a banana or potato chips or walking in the sunshine. And, you know, I might cover that in a bit, but let's keep going with the headline. There's complete information control. Japan's newspapers receive frightening information that's covered up. And some evacuees have died from acute symptoms not yet reported. <coughs> and this is all mainstream media. And that's what the E&E &E News does is links over there. A Japanese professor, use of nuclear energy is a crime against humanity. And we have to think this equally as the use of nuclear weapons. Now, when people use nuclear power for their butt plugs, it's hard to talk reason to these people. And butt plug man right here is going to start up another reactor. So we're going to have to cover that in the next couple of days. But there's a link between noop, 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 nuclear weapons and nuclear power is becoming increasingly clear. Well, yeah, they're enriching uh, the nuclear power industry. They don't have to use these wicked MOX fuels to make radioactive or make power. They don't need these crazy concoctions of missiles that were in silos and putting that through the chain reaction against something that's already unstable. That's been through the chain reaction and been weaponized. They're doing that for the isotopes for directed energy weapons. And how do you think these weapons, directed energy weapons, are going to be able to go shoot lasers over and over and over and over and over and over and over? What out there has power that does that over and over and over and over and over is nuclear. But what part about nuclear is the worst part is the isotopes. Why is the isotope so bad? Because it got all that energy, million watts, but they can only use it for the chain reaction. No, the chain reaction is about creating the product to use, like we really don't conceive what's really going on out there. It we're 30, 35 years behind in science, and so the speculation is out well known out there. We call it speculation, but it's well known what's going on out there long before it shows up in the industry. Touch screens were around 35 years ago in the military in Canada, for goodness sakes, 40 years ago. Uh, the nuclear porn industry are not thrilled people are talking about them. Nuclear disaster is far from over. The government is evaded admitting the meltdowns and delayed disclosure of radiation data. And I was supposed to be smaller in these pictures, but we got what we got. That didn't work out the way it was supposed to. So on May the 17, 2011, all parts of the fuel rods appear to have melted at all three reactors. And it's TEPCO. What was the date on it? May, May the 17th, 2011. I keep looking up at the mic. I'll get past it. So all parts of fuel rods appear to have melted at all three reactors. Uh, so that was a minute. So why didn't the media just come out in a minute? Why is the media out there still lying about it? So radiation... Water, damage on your DNA, it's really something else what they got done to this planet. Japan Nuclear Agency finally admits fuel is melted in reactors 1, 2, and 3, April the 20th, 2011. You know, no matter how many times you see the same headline, look over and over and over, the same headline, it doesn't matter. Radiation forecast, December 29, 2011, was held by the government. Releasing it would cause unnecessary panic, and the ministry decided such data would be unavailable to, to loss of power. They decided, but they were put in that position to tell people, and then they would have the ultimate power. Because everybody would turn to them for what to do, and they can employ all their aunts and nephews and uncles and cousins legitimately instead of dirtily by, I'm creating words here, by 
telling the truth. That's what's their job, to tell the truth. That's why they were paid pensions. That's why they're giving paychecks every day, every week. That's why they have those credit cards. That's why they have those trucks. That's why they have all the universities and institutions at their disposal. So they can do something about it. They're the people, they're, they were your last defense. They were the people you're supposed to put all your faith, all your trust, your children's health, your health, your community, your water, your land, your reputation, your industries. And instead of doing something about it, you just hide it and it's all going to go away because you can't see because it it's invisible. But it's not invisible when the cancer shows up five and ten years later. And when you're talking about how much came out of there, it's only a matter of another two or three years for there's going to be some serious big die-offs on this planet. Some serious, serious die-offs in the next two and three years. This stuff is catching up at a phenomenal rate in every community. There's an accelerated in, in uh, old people dying. Independent. Why Fukushima is worse than Chernobyl? And babies, too. And children. Why Fukushima is worse than Chernobyl? It's 72,000 times. No, Unit 3 at Fukushima, Unit 3, was 2 million times worse than any other reactor on the planet. Just a reactor. And there are several reactors in the fuel pools. It's no different. They can have a chain reaction meltdown, just like WIP. And I'm going to cover WIP tomorrow night. I'm not even going to touch it tonight. But I'm going to cover it tomorrow night. I'm going to cover it really good tomorrow night. Whip's going to get theirs tomorrow night. It's coming. Da 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 da. I guarantee you. But anyway, the ministry, the people you paid to tell you the difference, the people you paid to do a simple job, was all you got to do is if there's a radiation, you got to, you know, you practice it all the time. They go in and they. They practice it and they got all the equipment to come out and tell the public. They got all the PA systems. They got all the dots connected. They got all the communities on board to do it. And when it happened, they didn't do it. When it happened, they were like, if we does that, we get a loss of power. No, you got more power. You get a bigger budget. You get more authority. You're still going to be in harm's way whether you told the truth or not, but what you chose, you, you made a choice not to say anything. And that's all I got to say about that for a couple of moments until <laughs> it gets rocking again. And as the public, possibly worldwide, sickens over time, the truth will leak out about Fukushima. November the 2nd, 2011. Why did Japan Times columns say that? Why would they say that? Why? You tell me right now. I gotta know because I can tell you but we only got an hour. I don't let that never let that stop me before. Okay, here's another one for you. What was that one we were just talking about? The truth will leak out about Fukushima. Well here's one for you to think about. Really, truly think about. Radiation forecast can by no means be released to the public. Decided the government on March the 15th, four days after, and it showed a radioactive cloud could spread. Could, could. It, it didn't stop coming out of there. It's not like there was a plume came out of there. There's a plume coming out of there every minute, not only into our atmosphere, but also into our ocean. The original releases, because of the detonations, were huge. But then you have three melted cores. You have melted fuel pools. You have missing fuel pools. You have fuel pools and the debris spread all over that site. You can't pick it up without killing somebody. And there'll be a lot of them pile up before you get enough shielding there, someone getting close enough and... And uh, how can you pick it up? It's just, it's pellets, right? In rods, 12 foot rods, there's 280,000 rods, 18 pound rods. And it's just gonna keep going. The NSNS Secret Japan nuclear bomb program covered up using nuclear power in the industry. So the nuclear industry is using this MOX fuel to create these wicked Wicked isotopes disguised as nuclear bomb program, but it's actually a laser program. 
it's enough to build an arsenal larger than India and China and Pakistan. I'm going to have to put myself back over in this corner. I moved myself over here for a purpose, but I was supposed to be tiny and not having to duck. And I got no idea how all my pictures ended up big because I didn't set them that way. Whatever, Dana. Uh, I'll get to it. Hang on. So... And then it's a secret. Next one was pancreas. It gets into your body. So you're ingesting it. California had 1,500 radioactive atoms per cubic meter. Think of a cubic meter, like a dinner table, three feet by three feet above that. And you're walking through that 1,500 particles. Do you think you're going to ingest them? Do you think you're going to ingest them and they're just going to pass right through you? Yeah? You guess again. And so that's why we got to get this out there because everybody was sucking these radioactive, what we call buckyballs, from spraying salt water on the reactors. Right, the first 40 days nonstop, they sprayed salt water. And sulfur, back in the 50s and the 60s and the 40s, when they blew bombs up in the ocean, they discovered that the sulfur was a, a hydrogen peroxide, or was peroxide, um, urethal buckyball were created and they would ingest atoms and particles and isotopes and be like little nuclear engines and they weren't solutable in water and they were highly mo mobile and it's quite the phenomenon that's why we said the nuclear industry is absolutely disgusting but here's a one from that we know is going on uh, agency is funding projects to monitor online info about Fukushima. Around the clock monitoring of blogs of nuclear power. Hey, don't forget me, man. The nuclear proctologist.org. You come on over and hunt around on my site. You come read everything I got there. Anytime you want. We need more people. We'll flip you yet. Dana's showing his feminine side. What the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> well here we go to monitor blogs on nuclear power and radiation issues as well as twitter accounts around the clock to conduct research and analyst it's just to go out and then use that to put them on watch list you know just to put them on watch list and they got a huge budget and this is what they do. So the Japanese government are doing that because they withheld the radiation forecast. They say to prevent cause and panic. Their job wasn't to withheld anything. Their job is to tell the public what's happening and to shelter in the place and that they would deliver water and food to them until they could evacuate those regions of Japan and they can all get on a little island somewhere a few thousand miles away and carry on their tradition. But they didn't do that. They decided rather than evacuate a whole chunk of, of Japan because that's necessary and 50 becquels a square meter in that environment will cause permanent lesions to your organs. You can imagine what it's doing to children's organs, what they're doing to your animals' organs, to your creatures, to all the, the deer and everything else that's running around, the raccoons, squirrels and everything else and all the marine life, and how it's destroying and eradicating that, it'll eradicate 8.8 .8 million species on this planet if we don't get our asses in gear. Fukushima forecast shows CC-137 iodine-131 over northwestern USA. You think that invisible snowstorm missed you, or missed your children, or missed your loved ones, or missed everybody in your community, or in your neighborhood, or in your circle of friends do you think for a second that they all are not going to get the cancers over the next three four five years hardcore cancers coming up and you won't know what's wrong with them you guess again and you won't have any cures because you didn't you didn't look forward you didn't say hey you know i'm just going to listen to you and pretend nothing is wrong and i'll just be a sucker out there looking at the conjectures and the commentaries from Fox and ABC and Disney and Viacom and just a handful of corporations 
that everything you read and everything you watch and everything you listen to and all your music is all from just six corporations. Think about that one. There's 3,000 artists on my site. None of those artists are corporations. You haven't got any of them in your collection. And you got the same thing that everybody else in my neighborhood got. You got nothing different than anybody else in my neighborhood. I don't got that. I got all original music. You haven't heard none of it. I got thousands and thousands and thousands. It's unimaginable how, many, how much music I actually got from years and years of just collecting it. Because people put it in for free. And it's way better than anything you can get on a radio. I'm not saying they're not talented. I'm just saying they're corporatized and they change words and lyrics and ideologies like envelopes at a post office. Japanese expert may have delayed level 7 ratings to ease people into the harshness of the reality. They still haven't come out and told the truth. Well, let's go back to that other one for one second because I digress sometimes. The forecast shown in CC 137 dispersal you're missing all the radioactive isotopes that comes with that. It doesn't travel by itself. It's 100 times more strontium. When you hear iodine-131, there's 10 times more iodine-132. There's 30 times, and that's, that's uptaked into your thyroid nine times more effectively. And so you're like, oh, the iodine only got an eight-day half-life. Actually, it's got an 80-day half-life. And... Because it's man-made, that actually goes on for infinity. That's a man-made element, see? That's different than anything else in our solar system. Let's keep going. My voice is shot. I can't scream. I'm sorry. I screamed too much last night. Uh, anyway, Japanese government. I just done that one for you. Here we go. April the 14th, by the way. Like, the government knew what was going on. They just decided, rather than do their job, they poison everybody. Fukushima forecast shows a... Did I double that one up? Yeah. Hang on. Ray, uh, CC 137, April 14. Over Texas and Western USA on April 15th and 16. I just got to go back and check a headline. Yeah. Hang on. And then I didn't cover that one either. Hang on. So Fukushima forecast shows large radiation cloud over U.S. West Coast on the 14th and the 15th, right? And so there's different New York Times. Devastating government failure. Entire communities exposed to harmful radiation. Entire communities. The entire Northern Hemisphere. And I'll do the nuclearproctologist.org site. Those cancers. That'll be the next... That'll be the next section I put up there. How about that? And so you go over to the right-hand side of it. Hang on. Uh, I'll, I'll get to it after. Because um, we got to get that up there. Because this is real stuff, and we need to be able to protect ourselves. And I can't seem to find it aggregated anywhere. I need to get it out there for everybody. Professor, radioactive particles from Fukushima like poison gas. See, that's a good way of looking at it. Except it's going to kill you in a few years, not immediately, because you're in a snowstorm. Remember all these headlines I'm reading you? Do you think these are fake? Do you think I'm like Photoshop and headlines here tonight? Ha ha, put a gag on you. You think I'm that twisted? But there are people out there. CCM 137 forecast, these are all mainstream media aggregators. Except it was buried under the tsunami. You didn't bother seeing anything on the poor victims at the tsunami. You didn't see the nuclear headlines. They were kept away from you. They filled you with fluff and Michael Jackson. and They just kept filling your head up with junk. Like a news, like Fox and CNN and Vietcom and Disney. That's, that's fluff. There's 4,300 and 40 peer review academic studies every day that are published. That's news. Fox is conjectures. CNN is commentary. It's just, it's really true. It's just, uh, it's like a bad commercial for news. It's really bad. It's just, it's just like disco for news. Real news doesn't come off a TV set. It comes out of an academic peer review study where thousands of hours and dozens and hundreds of children 
or your kids at universities have spent years researching a subject. That's news. You know, news is taken up by a politician holding a baby, and you wonder why the world is so screwed up. Unpublished radiation forecast, April 19th, a much larger cesium-137 cloud, it lingered over North America. It just lingered here for the first 40 days nonstop. An invisible snowstorm right across the continent. Uh, cesium-137, don't, it doesn't travel alone. It doesn't travel without uranium. It doesn't travel without all their daughters. It doesn't travel without the plutonium because these were weaponized reactors. These reactors are three times the size of Chernobyl. Chernobyl is one third of re, uh, uh, the size and was a 30% meltdown. These are 100% meltdowns. I guess you need a picture. And tonight I didn't really bother with it. It's just because I use so many pictures. But I do got a picture. There's a little bit of unit 3 and 4. They're destroyed. They're 100% meltdowns. But just so you, you can get a brief understanding. Back to the uh, New York Times. Entire community is exposed. And I was two more ahead of that one. Forecast was where I left off, right? And Matthew. Hi, Matthew. Patrick. Mom's the word. Yeah, the caribou's research and all. It's very weird. Hang on a second. Do we want to go down that path? P.S. Topmare Caribou, everybody else. Let's go over to the web page. Let's grab hold of E&E &E News. Look up that headline. Anyway, where we're at it. We're thinking about it. Where's it to? Yeah, big, big decline in Alaska caribou mortality very high. How did that come out on the thingy? I don't know. I'll wait till it shows up over here just in case and see if it works out. But there's a big decline in Alaska caribous. The mortality very high after Fukushima releases began. Low survival rates for calves also in 2011, 2012. And officials is worrisome how quickly this is happening. In truth, we don't have an answer. Now, that's the Alaska Department of Fish and Games. 235,000 animals. Uh, numbered about 230. That's down from 325,000. Down 100,000. And so, the Wandu, uh, the herd size right now, as of 2000, was 235,000. That's down about 27%. That's a huge drop. So the Alaska news miners are reporting on it. So like E&E &E News is not just telling you the story. They're linking you to everybody else. The Arctic Sounder 2011 census data. What more would you want, right? You're linked to everything. And that's why the headline is big. That's why the headline might seem salacious. It's because you got it from all these. You're aggregated from all those media on the same story. That's a lot of work to get a different perspective. You can't give everybody the same regurgitated thing like AP and writers that you'll find at Fox and everywhere else where they just regurgitate the exact same story with the exact same picture. The 1,600 outfits like ABC and BBC all at the one time gets the same headline from the same writer about the same story with the same picture and indoctrinates everybody at the one time and you can't talk to anybody E and E news gives you one, two, three, four, five plus six Canadian government to test it and listen to the K and O broadcast seven. So you can't argue with that. I, if there was a better source out there, I'd use it. But how can you get better? What they got done there? Like just reading you the headline, you know. Let me impress upon you is not enough. You have to go read each one of these to make up an opinion. And that's what a lot of people don't get about me is that I can't stop reading because there's so much to be read. And so I can only give you a synopsis of everything. And it happens to work out that E&E &E News I already done most of the, not most of the work, all the work. Look at it. It's all right there. And if you read through it, then you can talk about the story without you know, getting lost or confused. 
And so I hope that worked out okay. And wait now, there's one more story there that I should have clicked on. Seeing as I'm here, and no, I better not. I gotta save that one for tomorrow night. And that story is, let's bring it up anyway. Green burst and criticality event under investigation by the government in connection with the WIP release at the US WIP site. And I'm gonna cover that. Tomorrow night is all about WIP. I might even come out with a little preamble tomorrow afternoon, WIP. And WIP is gonna get their day. If they want it, they're gonna get it. They've been asking for it. I've been trying to get other things accomplished. Let's come all the way back, get back on track, bring over a headline so I can get rid of the weird looking screens. Large radiation cloud near California, April 11th. Loving it. We're getting your daily doses. That's why California is in such bad shape. It's the fruit of the country, right? It producing all that fruit for right across the country in Canada. And so the best thing that ever happened to us was a drought in California. And Fukushima forecast, I'll keep going, sorry. Unpublished radiation forecast showed a much larger cesium-137 cloud. We covered all that, Dana. Oh, here's a good one for you. You'll love this one. How about this? Put this in your pipe. Don't be a chicken. Mayor tells parents who are concerned their children are eating radioactive lunches. How twisted and demented do you got to be? To be that way. Don't be a chicken. So you go to that store, you go down, you'll find it's ABC or BBC or CBC or your favorite bootlicking media, whatever. Well, they're all PR firms. All your celebrity in the medias have huge backgrounds in PR. Let's keep going. Let's rock them. Increasing number of horrified parents in Tokyo areas. Young children enjoy radioactive autumn outdoors. Accused of being monster parents if they're concerned. October 11, 2011. So you won't hear the academics at your universities and your institutions. All the apologists in North America and in Canada telling their children this stuff. Right? And they say, Mommy, Daddy, what do you mean? And that child will, trust will be broken. That's why they put them in private school because they know if they hang out in public school with uh, the children that they will victimize in the future, they might have uh, apathy and empathy and, you know. You gonna show up with your iPhone chargers for that one, Missing Sky? <laughs> when. Japanese mayor says students are gaining knowledge by reading radioactive food in school lunches. Think about how twisted that statement actually is. How, why do you think he said that? Why do you think the mayor said that? These are all authentic headlines. None of these are fables. None of these are misrepresentative. None of these are out of context. What do you want to get your acting gear that the nuclear industry is going to destroy 8.8 .8 million species on the planet as it is. And that includes you. And you're the only one with a voice, so why not use it? Why not push yourself? Why not take a chance on that? Because that's what I do is I educate you and I give you the ammunition you need to defeat anybody out there in any debate. That's the nuclearproctologist.org you can go there and you can get on a phone and you can just rattle off headline after headline. All you got to do is go read through a section that you think you might enjoy reading through. And you're probably going to have a few nightmares because I don't sugarcoat and neither did he any news. But when we aggregate them in a certain way so the story gets told, instead of you trying to go figure out how to go about it and look for it and do it and work it out and put it together and take it into context, what does it mean? How does that work? I don't understand. That's the problem. I can give you all those headlines at the nuclear proctologist. But a lot of people, they still can't get through their heads. And so my job is never done. And that's too bad. And it's not right that we have to do this. I'm not saying poor, poor, pitiful me. I'm privileged. I'm honored to be out here slugging, to slugging it out. 
because that's what we do a lot of the times is we slug it out because that's the only way you can keep going you got to slug it out you got to you, you got to have something more important than life itself something more important than your own life itself before you appreciate life itself and you can't appreciate 8.8 .8 million species until you appreciate your own life and as a Canadian, I'm extraordinarily privileged. Water, land, trees, freedoms, unimaginable to almost everybody else on this planet. And I understand that, that I can use my voice. And I don't know for how long I can get away with that. And, but I understand that that's in our past and in our future. It's a magical time. And if you don't take advantage of that, you will certainly look back and regret that. You will regret that moment. And in a time as this, where every word is recorded for posterity, till the very end of time, may your words carry honor instead of, you know, contempt for the human race. May you know, may it convey as much as it can in such a short as a period as it is graced, versus the carnage created on the other side buy a paycheck and you do yours for free and gladly and willingly where they do it for a paycheck where they went and got their education to manipulate you and deceive your loved ones and trick your children with cartoons and advertisement and the monopoly on the industries in order to just be able to have access you know Facebook exists just to steal your data Google exists just to steal your data Literally, that's all it exists. Its whole existence can't exist without stealing your data. Your data is its oxygen. Your data is its blood. The whole system survives on the data. It's the twistedest thing I've ever seen. But they're intending to use that to take all the information about you to assimilate robots into your life because your life is recorded in so many ways. And they're, they're able to now stitch that together and keep it into a personalized folder where supercomputers now can teach a robot how to live with you and coexist with you and so that you don't reject it and so that it's able to extrapolate more data so that it could be sold and so Google's rushing out with it there's a whole bunch of robots and we really got to cover that hardcore in the near future Shocking. Official makes it mandatory to use Fukushima rice in school lunches. It's mandatory to eat radioactive waste. So if that's not a betrayal, what is? Do you think the professors and the deans of the universities are going to tell their children that, you know, um, that's what, you know, the Americans and Canadians, they'll say, their scientists and professors will tell their children it's like sunshine, the radiation from the sun. It's not. That's a completely different radiation. The elements created in a chain reaction don't come out of the sun. The sun, create, the sun creates elements, chain reaction destroys it. It's a completely different process. And you'll hear your parents or your uncles or your university professors say, it's like the sunshine, uh, you know, like being up in a plane and sunshine. It's not though. If you ingest a radioactive particle, it's like never getting off a plane but being up an extra seven miles where you're exposed to the actual uh, you know solar arrays. They're different but they're not like man they're different radiation than man-made radiation. Man-made is means man-made. That's why they're so dangerous. That's why they're so scary. That's why they're supposed to be in a sarcophagus till the end of time. Right, the sun that's coming down is getting reflected. Right, it's getting directed away. It's getting absorbed. You need the sun for plants to grow. Everything on this planet is acclimated to the sun. Walking in the sunshine is not bad for you. You can get a sunburn. But if you ingest, if you went and walked in the sunshine for six hours or ten hours on a beach, that's not the same as ingesting a single radioactive particle. It's like, you get an x-ray every moment of your life, every minute, 1,440 minutes a day. Every day of your life you're getting an x-ray and your body attacks that. Your body displaces your oxygen molecules with white blood cells. It, it, it's killing cells all the time and it's creating a tumor.
we call it a sarcophagus now because that's the only thing that can contain nuclear waste is the human body. You know, why do you think they wear this equipment? Because they're worried about sunshine? Because they're worried about airplanes? You think they wear that on airplanes? No. Do you wear that when you're eating potatoes? No. You don't wear a big uniform when you're, gonna, when you're around potatoes? How come? Well, we hear potatoes are radioactive all the time by the scientists and the professors and the academics in Canada and the United States who feel like they're big shots and they got all these accolades and diplomas and degrees. But they'll tell their children, oh, it's like, it's like a potato, honey. But it's not. If it was radioactive material, they'd have to wear that. Because that's why they're wearing that, because it's man-made radioactive material there. If it was like bananas, would they wear that same gear? No. That Geiger counter is not going to make a banana. It's not going to... You put a Geiger counter up to a banana, if it goes off, you run away. Because that's man-made radiation. A banana has potassium-40. Potassium-40 is homeostasis. And every night I have to apologize for the uses of potassium-40. Did your dad tell you that potassium-40... It's like man-made radiation. You ever mentioned red that and at the same time a nuclear reactor? Well, he was lying to you. Potassium-40 is homeostasis. You off-gas it. If I ate a banana with 12 becquels of potassium-40, it's not going to show up on that Geiger counter behind me. It's not going to show up in that banana. But if there's man-made radiation there in the Geiger counters there, you might find it because it's an emitter. And it will be for thousands and millions and billions of years depending on what kind of emitter it is. If it's plutonium... It's 240,000 years. If it's uranium or one of its daughters, it's 4.5 billion years plus times 10. But like those bananas, the people that go out in the supermarket and stack those bananas up are not wearing a face mask. They're not wearing a big suit, right? How come? But your parents are telling you over and over. Your media tells you, and they fact-checked everything. Right? Like, buddy, a couple nights ago, I'd be, like, getting an extra banana a day in Japan for what he's seen. Or it's like the radiation in a rock. Well, how come rock climbers don't got to wear big masks and stupid-looking helmets and suits that are disposable because they're going to get radiation out of it when you're in rocks? How come that's, they don't do that? How come you don't have to wear... One of those radiation suits when you go swimming in the ocean. Ken Buesler from Woods Hole Oceanographic and the rest of them will tell you, the ocean got uranium-238 in it, honey. Your dad will tell you that. The reactor's got uranium-238, right, honey? So it's okay. It's like a banana. It's like water. But it's actually not. You can take a bat every day. It's not going to give you cancer. But if you got uranium-238 from a chain reaction... I'll guarantee you the cancer. I'll guarantee it. And tumors, all kinds of tumors, because there's every other radiation there too. One don't come without the other. It's like a really bad dream. Let me keep going over to a few, got a few headlines to get through. Increasing numbers of horrified parents in Tokyo area as young children enjoy radioactive atoms outdoors accused of being monsters if the parents are concerned. Like, I can't stress what that means enough. And how twisted it is that in Japan they say, oh yeah, eating radiation, radioactive food in school lunches is good. It'll increase your knowledge. I can assure you, they're not talking about the potassium-40 in the banana in Japan and they're not talking about potatoes, potassium-40 potatoes when they're telling that to the students. <laughs> no, they're talking about the scariest stuff on the planet that's two million times worse than any other reactor on the planet. Put that in your pipe and smoke it. I don't recommend it. Shocking. Official, like I said, official made a mandatory to eat the Fukushima rice. You got to eat all that rice, Timmy. It's good for you. And once again, let me hit that headline again. Sea seam and iodine over large sections of U.S. and Canada. So iodine-131 they're talking about, it didn't travel out 10 times more iodine-132 and 30 times more iodine-133. 
And for every three iodine-131, the four wants an iodine-129 with a 15 million year half-life. Do you get any concept? These are ionized, radiated material. You will get cancers, and you did. You have to learn that we got to get all the universities, all these academic studies, and start opening up our institutions because we lock all that 4, 000, over 4,000 peer review studies that you paid for every day are locked up and put away 1.6 million a year. And you're happy with Fox and CNN and MSNBC? Oh, I'm not. I never will be. I got to pay thousands of dollars just to browse the academic sections. And Wiley Springer and elsewhere got 20,000 of the most prestigious academic journals on the planet because they get the copyrights to all your universities for free. You know nothing. If you watch mainstream media all the time, you if you read mainstream, the six corporations that control everything you read and write, watch in Hollywood and music and theaters... You have been indoctrinated. Wake up. Interview in Fukushima. A lot of police are dead. And it's not reported. When radiation workers died. They are marked as missing. And I can't remember. There was 800 missing. Uh, there at one point a couple of years ago. Homeless people that went into Fukushima. Nobody knows what happened to them. They probably got thrown down on top of uh, Unit trees, Melticoriums. Legal expert. Three... Police died of acute leukemia after being sent to Fukushima within 50 kilometers of the plant. January 11, 2013. I mean, this is real stuff. Gunnarsson said back in September 12, 2011, 60 holes in the bottom of the Fukushima reactors, right? But we know they all melted. We knew that early on, right? Uh, let me bring up those headlines. Uh, huge problems. All parts of the fuel rods appear to be melted at all three reactors amidst TEPCO. May the, look at the date, right? May 17, 2011. And so come back down to the next headline. Japan professor Fukushima smokestacks are releasing radiation on a daily basis because they're so radiated from the meltdowns and everything else, right? And so they still vent up through those stacks, those 700 foot stacks of Fukushima. And so these stacks are, even if you were venting up pure air from seven miles offshore and you pumped it to the stacks, when it came out of the stack, it was radioactive. But the stacks are venting the sarcophagus, the Kevlar sarcophagus they put around the buildings. Right? It's just sarcophagus they lifted in with cranes. No one can get in there. It's radiated for thousands of years. Nobody can get inside of those buildings. The groundwater... Uh, it's flowing. That was September 20, 2011. The reactor buildings via cracks in the walls in the Fukushima reactor buildings and also down all along the front of you see all of those buildings down on the front they're, um, they're the pump houses. They're, they, they're massive radiation. Billions of becquels like a cubic centimeter. And that pumps up into the building sucks up all the fissionable products combination with that too and that sinks back down. And it's not just the rods that are sprayed all over the site and all the neutrons and the x-rays because of these are went to the chain reaction. Right, that's the key here, the, chain, the word chain reaction. So these are like, the elements that have been inserted into your periodic table but they're not indigenous to the moon. You won't find them on Mars. They're not in the solar system that we know about and we know quite a lot accordingly that we based a whole lot of science that got us in all this trouble in the first place. There is no longer any such thing as clean and safe food. What do you think that headline means? Like you got to realize how much trouble they're in. And everybody else is in and the Pacific Ocean is in. you got to realize this is not a joke and we haven't got all kinds of time to get something accomplished to make something happen, to put something together, to have the right people just wander right in and uh, deal with it. And so that's what we're doing, <laughs> whether we're the right people or not, we'll never know, I guess, in that sense, because we're so, you know, we're so far down the road, we're so deep down this friggin' hole, that we better do something. 
and we better have, you know, a a a solid narrative that we're basing everything up on. And so that's what we've done. And what's up on the nuclearproctologist.org is cherry picked from the thousands and thousands and thousands that we have covered here. And all of that will show up on that site at some point in the next few weeks in categories because that's the only way you have the ability to do exactly and have the authority and have the moral obligation and the moral ability and you know without coming showing up in two weeks time and not knowing nothing about this subject and finding a nuclear proctologist and just being able to bury your head and go through it and and have your and be able to get it all I wish that happened to me is why it exists anyway because if that was there when it happened to me and it still doesn't exist out there I'm the only one that have it aggregated in a way where the story is there each time for each subject and it's just going to get much better as I learn to use that site but it's very functional now and so we're really happy about that and I certainly haven't taken advantage of it I had to redo the whole site and that's done and I had to get ready for the night and that's done and let's keep rising good night Lori yeah, we're winding down here anyway. I was uh, hoping to only go for 35 minutes. And let me see. I only got about eight more headlines to run through. 55 minutes. Let's run through them. Let's run through the last couple of headlines. We covered it all. The reactors could break like glass during an accident. And the neutrons, they changed the property of the steel. And that's something you might have heard with the Wigner effect. I think that's the proper pronunciation, where the man-made radioactive material deteriorates all the material around it. It breaks down the atomic structure of the material just from the neutrons and the x-rays bombarding the material. And remember, WIP was supposed to be full of that type of material that was contaminated. And that's what they mean, where the neutrons change the properties of the steel. And so that becomes like little little nuclear reactors on their own that's like like uh, nuclear waste that's a hundred not like it but that's a hundred percent so let's run through the rest of the headlines and we'll call it a night i wasn't expecting to go a full hour it's been such a long day and i got such a long night in the morally ahead of me it's okay though physics physicists unit two completely liquefied that's why i wanted to keep going i just got a couple more headlines Uranium core. I know people want me to go two hours and three hours, but I can do. I, I wasn't expecting to do more than a half an hour a night. I just kind of expanded. But yeah, I'm, I'm ran down because I haven't stopped. But a unit two completely liquefied, 100% liquefaction of uranium cores. 100% liquefaction of uranium core. What part about that is that people can't wrap their mind around? What part about that is it that says, oh, no, it's okay? Why does Fox come here and say, no, it's okay? What was the date on that? May the 14th, 2012. And CNN is out there. It's 7% as bad as Chernobyl. <laughs> Physicist Unit 2 completely liquefied. And it was 100% liquefaction. Liquefaction. we never seen this before in the history of nuclear power but it's okay Dina I got it on and on it's all running into the Pacific it'll stop after a few thousand years we got a few hundred thousand homeless to go yet Dana don't give up hope Dana TEPCO employee arrested for making prank calls to TEPCO anger over having to eat radiation contaminated food sources they're taking the homeless in there and they're murdering them it's okay, Dana. We tell our children, Dad, it's like bananas in North America. Ha <laughs> ha, Dana. Don't worry about it. It's all right. And people get arrested because they yell back. And so you can't even trust the police in Japan. They just lose all face. TEPCO blames spontaneous and natural nuclear fission for radioactive xenon. What about the 1400... 14,000% increase in krypton 85. But what about every other radioactive element that shows up at the same time in mass? It's, they never travel alone. Two more headlines to go. 
and the agents surveyed the reason behind the deaths of 529 survivors uh, as the cause of death for 249 people was living as living as evacuees. 249 people killed themselves. But there's no human cost, Dana. We're living through the worst public health scandal in history. The last headline of the night. 60 million developed cancer from the nuclear west, not to mention diabetes and Alzheimer's and dementia and 1,700 autoimmune deficiency diseases. It comes along with radiation. All the deformed children in Chernobyl. All the sickness that goes with all this. Good night, everybody. I let my cigarette without the 4,000 chemicals, without a filter to make the particle smaller to go through the liner of you, along with just nicotine. I deserve it. It's been a long day. Let me say good night to a few people. Multi Hungry Eyes, Paulette, Punisher, Youngie, Shanigans, Miss Milky the Clown. Says, and remember when they staged the anti nuclear conference with pro nuke people restarting reactors? Yeah, yeah, they're gone crazy, eh? Let's last call for thumbs up. Oh, he says, uh, hang on a, fo a second, folks, make sure I catch everything. Just make sure there's nobody yelling at the last of it. Yeah, guys, Sylvia, Punisher, Mr. I can see him, SPS. Power Ultra, yeah, Kevin, MSVS, Miss Milky, and the stored waste encapsulated in glass, yeah, it's like a glassification, is it? I think is the name for that. That was the hope, anyway. But the whole problem is, is the system is set up to, to, uh, to steal the money. It's set up not to work. It's set up never to work. Even though the ideas are really good, there's always massive flaws. It takes 20, 25 years to look at the archaeological areas of it, to look at the ecological areas of it. Good night, everybody. Nom, nom, nom. DJ, Slacky Lady, David, Bob. Once again, folks, thanks for uh, the support at the Nuclear Proctologist. That's what it's all about. It's a one-stop shop for facts and reality. Good night, hippie. Toxic. Mr. I can see, missing sky, one hour, two minutes. I'm not going to keep you any longer till tomorrow.